Action. Apple pies. Music. Hello and welcome back to Conscious Cooking with Condé and me Liana. Um, Condé is currently busy trying to eat the back of my dress but I'll say hello instead. Uh, today we are doing low sugar apple pies. Um, I like to not use a lot of sugar because it's bad for you. So. Conde's recommendation, um, he suggests using butter at room temperature because it's a lot better when you're making the actual pastry. Um, I like to use, Conde, what are you doing? <laughs> I've got um, a zip on the back of my dress and Conde is trying to undo it. Um, yeah, so I like to use uh, vegan butter because it's a healthier option and actually I personally think it tastes better. Don't forget at Condé's recommendation to please use turbinado sugar as it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> but anyway, so first things first is we're going to put the flour in. And next up we're going to add in the other dry ingredients which is the baking powder and the salt. And we're going to give that a beautiful mix. Mr Condé. So the next step is to add in your vegan butter um, and you're going to massage it in with a flour and it's going to end up looking like small peas. The butter should be room temperature so it's very soft and it will mix with the flour and other ingredients really really well. So once your butter is incorporated with the flour you can see that it's got a more sort of like bread crummy mixture. That's absolutely perfect, that's what we're looking for. And our next step is to add in the soy milk. Um, you can use ordinary milk if you want to, full fat milk or whatever. But um, I like to use soy milk because I feel like it's a healthier option. And um, we're only going to give it a very, very, very gentle stir. Because we're not going to go and crush what the work, what we've done. Um, pastry should be very flaky, so just gently stir away. Once you've incorporated the milk with all the other ingredients, you will get a nice consistency where it all sticks together. Um, just put that aside for a moment so that you can flour a surface. And flour away. And then we're gonna transfer the mixture onto the cutting board. Should be a rolling board now, because we're not cutting anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then make sure you've got enough flour on your hands because it is quite a sticky mixture and you don't want to be stuck with pastry all over your hands. You're just going to very firmly this time push it all together but try not to crush the butter because you don't want to get rid of the marbled effect that it has and um, once you've got a sort of like round ball where it all stays together you're gonna put it in like plastic film or sort of like a sandwich bag you know the clear plastic wrap things and uh, just keep it in the refrigerator until we've done the next step once you've made the pastry you need to pop it aside and put it in the fridge while we're making uh, part two of the recipe <laughs> Thank you. 
Good. Conde recommends that you use these lovely, delicious, sweet and beautiful red apples. Uh, these particular variety are Fuji apples and uh, they're absolutely delicious. So an important thing that I might actually just mention here is that this is for four mini apple pies. Um, they're kind of small, like muffins. They're like an individual portion where you're going to have one each and it's not too much. You're not going to go and eat a load and load of calories. It's kind of like the healthy version of indulging but still being healthy. Once you've peeled your apple, you need to core it, cut it, chop it, slice it or whatever you want to call it. I'm chopping it up very small so that it's going to be nice little chunks inside the apple pies. Put your beautiful apples in a nice silver bowl and you're going to get your cinnamon and you're going to get your turbinado sugar and add it all in. And you're also going to squeeze in half a lime, not a whole lime, just half a lime. And then you're going to mix it up, just give it a shake and incorporate all the ingredients together. Once it's all mixed together, it's going to look like this. Um, you can see that where I've used turbinado sugar and cinnamon, the apples have a brown tint to them. Uh, and then the next thing that we have to do is go and heat it in a pan on a very low heat. Please do not use anything above low. Um, you're just going to let the juices come out of the apple and you're going to give it like a few minutes, maybe about seven or eight minutes and just give it a stir so it doesn't stick to the pan or anything. Let the juices come out and that's how we do it. Top tip from Conde. So once the juices have come out of the apple, you're going to have a nice little mixture in the pan going on. You need to drain the actual consistency, all the lumps, into a bowl and then put the liquid back again into the pan and you need to cook it at a medium heat for maybe like a minute, not too much because it's going to just uh, evaporate, but you need to do it so that it gels and thickens up. This is um, going to help with the consistency of the apple pie and it's going to make it more of a filling rather than a liquid consistency. Once your juices have thickened in the pan, add them back into the bowl with the apple. And remember that tablespoon of butter that I was talking about. Add this back in and just um, give it a little stir or a toss. You don't really want the butter to melt because it's going to just be in and it's going to melt in the oven really. We've got our lovely, lovely pastry back again from the refrigerator and it's got a beautiful consistency to it. I cannot wait to eat it. And um, it's a shame because Conde can't have any, so please don't feed your birds. Yeah, cameraman can. He's over there saying, I can, I can. <laughs> but yeah, don't feed your parrot any um, pastries or anything like that. So what we're going to do is cut the uh, pastry into four equal pieces which is going to make the four individual uh, apple pies and then you're going to keep about a third of the uh, pastry mixture just so that you can make the nice decoration across the top. Uh, I like to do the crisscross decoration uh, but you can do whatever you want. You can do little hearts, you can get really adventurous with it, you could do little parrots if you wanted to. <laughs> Make sure your surface has quite a lot of flour on and um, if you're lucky enough to have one of these gorgeous rolling pins that are made of marble, you can refrigerate these for an hour before rolling your pastry out because they, the cold temperature really helps with the uh, shape of the dough. You don't need to roll the pastries very big because as you can see, they're very, very small. It's about the size of a muffin or a cupcake. Um, don't forget to put butter in the uh, holes and then put some flour in there so that it doesn't stick. Take your pastry and you're going to pop it in the hole. Make sure that it comes up above the edges because you don't want the uh, mixture leaking everywhere and having a lot of spillage. So what I've done is I've rolled out the four pieces to put into the tray and then the other piece I've rolled out into a rectangular shape and don't 
roll it out wider than the actual pie because you don't need it like that. It's just going to be little lines you're cutting so you can do a crisscross shape. So you're going to do them like this. They're going to be about the size of your finger. <laughs> okay, so if you do want to do the crisscross effect over the top, uh, cut it into 12 pieces so that you're going to have three lines going across each one. Um, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can just do a solid top or you can do little hearts or whatever you please. Then you're going to take some of the filling and you're going to divide it equally between each pie. Don't overfill it because they do kind of rise up in the oven. It's like they bubble up and I have had some spillages before. So once you've got your filling in, you're going to take your little, little tiny pieces and lay them across the top making them pretty and take a fork and press around the edges just to seal that all together. Um, if you are going to put a flat dome across the top, make sure you pierce some holes with a fork because it does need air. So make sure that you cut around the edges just cutting off any excess pastry because um, you do want it to be quite neat and presentable. You're going to just glaze the top with some soy milk. That will give it a nice little shine when it goes in the oven. Not too much because you don't want to make it soggy. And you're going to get some turbinado sugar and just sprinkle it on the top for some nice crispiness. For best results, please cook at 375 for approximately 20 minutes. Um, ovens do vary, so do keep an eye on them. And uh, while they're cooking, we can dance. Mm. And here we have it, four beautiful mini apple pies. Uh, actually, they're ideal for taking uh, to work with you in your lunchbox. And um, for dessert, you can serve them with ice cream. They go really, really well with vanilla ice cream. And um, I can just smell the flavors coming out of them, the apple and the cinnamon. And uh, as soon as this camera shuts off, we're gonna be eating them straight away. So look forward to seeing you all next week. Uh, please feel free to subscribe and comment on my videos. And Condes, thank you for watching. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Tony Kopinski, a wonderful, wonderful artist. Um, I think his work is absolutely fabulous and I've been following him on Twitter for quite some time now and honestly his works of art, are, they're just masterpieces so have a look at him and check him out. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Rolling, 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 rolling. Right. Is it the just other one? It. it doesn't matter but just hold it still for a second because you're going to have to... Alright. <laughs> One more time, one more time, we'll get it this time. Uh, nope. Lock it in the zone. <laughs> so the next step is to add the apple into a beautiful silver bowl or whatever bowl you've got. I went off shot, didn't I? Nope. Oh, nearly fell over. Mummy. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching Conscious Cooking with Conde and me, Liana. Um, we do appreciate your views and tuning in. Please check me out on Twitter. Conde's got his own Twitter too, and it's appearing somewhere over here right now. If you like us, please subscribe, and there'll be more videos next week on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.